Jack, how you doing? Man? Good. How's it going? Good. Um, I know that as, as a player, you don't get a chance to really get involved in the homecoming festivities, but uh, is it still exciting, uh, the homecoming game for, for this uh, Saturday for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. You know, every homecoming is obviously really exciting. Uh, going off of last week with UNC, we had an incredible crowd. Um, we fans were really excited about that. That was, that was such a great thing to see. And then this week, going into homecoming, it's awesome to fall with that. We can uh, hope for a, a great crowd, great activities going on, and we're going to stay locked into the game at 12, and it'll be fun. Uh, besides your brother at Elon, do you know any other players uh, on, on your team? And does that make it a little bit more special for you if you do know more to, to go against those, type of those guys? Um, I, I don't know any other players on the team uh, except for my brother. Um, he was actually at the UNC game last week because the team was away at Richmond. Um, so I've, I saw him last week. Um, he's excited about this game. He's been talking about it for a while. And uh, he's not going to be playing. He redshirted. But uh, I know he's wearing uh, Zach Tom's number 50 on a scout team this week. And um, I'm excited to play Elon. That's awesome. Uh, what do you know about their team, and, and what about their uh, their defense that um, that you guys are? Yeah, you know, give away game plan, of course. But what about their defense side? Do you guys uh, worry about? Um, I mean, they're multiple on defense. Uh, they play really hard. Uh, they're veterans up front. They um, have a little more youth in the back end. But uh, I think. If we just come out there and do our do our job and just come out like we've done the past three weeks and just focus on what our task is in front of us and just do our job collectively in each position and stuff like that and not um, play outside of what we normally do, I think we'll have a good day. Uh, what's your assessment of the offense in general? How it's clicking? We have ACC receivers of the week everywhere, and um, you know Jamie Newman is leading the AC in passing yardage. So what's what's clicking? What's making everything feel so so easy right now? Uh, I wouldn't say it's easy, but I would say that we're just. Everyone's doing their job perfectly. Uh, I think Jamie's coming on, passing the ball really well on the deep throws. Um, Sage is obviously making incredible catches. Scotty is making incredible catches week to week. They're both just going back and forth, competing against each other. And up front, our old line stepped up to the challenge. I mean, we all knew that they, uh, they called us out. And uh, I think we responded uh, awesome. Like, our, our guys played really hard across the board. And um, I think it was one of our highest graded out games at each position. And that was one of our goals going into the game, just do our job play our game and control what we can control, and uh, the rest will take care of itself. Can you talk a little bit about um, the confidence that you guys have with Jamie? I mean, he's only lost one game as a starter. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, obviously, I mean, winning games makes us more confident. Um, playing well on offense, uh, scoring points makes you confident. But at the same time, we just, I mean, we just go in every game just doing what we normally do and following the process, following our game plan. and. I can't control how Jamie plays. I just have to do my best job, and that'll help him play better. And it's across the board. O-line, receivers, they catch the ball better. Uh, obviously, if Jamie throws his deep balls, if those receivers don't make great catches, then it, I mean, it doesn't turn out the way it does. So it, it's all over the place of how um, great everyone needs to play to show that Jamie's playing well, Scotty's playing well, Cage's playing well, the O-line's playing well, Kenneth is running the ball really well, Kate's coming back. Like, it's all going like pistons. It's, it's like starting to fire up right now, and we just got to keep it rolling and keep our head down and just do what we've done the past few weeks, each week, week to week. Talk about your brother talking about the game. Is he been talking in trash to you? Or what's, what's it like between them? Um, yeah, after the game at UNC, uh, obviously he knew we, we were, I was, I mean, we have a 24 hour rule, so like I was, I was excited about the UNC win. I wasn't even focused on the next game, but uh, I saw him after the game, and, uh, he wasn't talking too much trash, but you could tell, I could see it in him. He was, like, he was excited about this game because um, being on the same field with him for the last time would be, oh, it's awesome. My parents are excited. My mom's freaking out. Um, it's going it's to be a good time, and I'll see him after the game, and I'll, I'll say what's up. Coming off that UNC win, what is the confidence level like as a team going into Elon, and how high are you guys right now after you know, getting a, a win like that against the in-state rival? Um, I would say it was great that we had that game on a Friday and then we were able to have that Saturday off and so we had a 24 hours we got to celebrate and then then this this coming week we're playing on Saturday so we had that extra day um, and I mean we we were excited it was awesome incredible atmosphere one of the best games I've played in and um, but then at the same time we had our meetings with captains yesterday and our main goal this week um, is to keep everybody level keep everybody grounded and we want everybody to focus on this next game and then the next game like you got to go week to week you, if we change up our recipe and we change up our process and we change up the things that we've done well, we're gonna, you're going to get beat. Like, that's just how it goes. You've got to show up each week. doesn't matter what the other team's doing. You've got to do what you're doing. And uh, that was our goal this week. 3-0 as a team overall, what do you think has been the key to the success for the game so far for this team? Um, 
obviously, we, I mean, we've started 3-0, 4-0 a couple of years ago, and then we started 3-0 before in 17. Um, I would say this year, it's, I, I, I found like a broken record, but it's, it's everyone's locked in. We're, we're paying attention to detail. We're doing those things, and we're playing really hard. On defense, we're, we're playing really physical. Like, we, we, we out physical them last game. And then on offense, we're just playing incredibly detailed. And that's making the difference all over the place. Like, you can tell in our, in our situations and stuff, in two minute, four minute, at the end of the game, the offense had to go down and get a, get a score. We had to keep the ball. We did that when we had to, and the defense made a two minute drive, and they won the game for us. And it's de detailed football is Wake Forest football, and that's what we've been doing really well this year and even at the end of last year. And if we can continue to do that week to week, it's going to be something special.